Hello and welcome back to Digging with Dialus. That's right, that's me. But you know that by now. And if you don't, come on, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I do another video. So what I'm doing today is I'm currently sat in the car. I've just dropped my daughter off at school. I'm going up to my dad's house today. He's got a little problem with his pond. Water is flowing into his filter too quickly, so he needs to restrict that. So it needs a ball valve fitting. So I'm off to do that for him because, quite frankly, it's easier if I do it because it's getting a little bit old now. He's in his 70s, so I'd like to give him that helping hand when I can. So you're going to join me up there now. We'll go fit this ball valve and I'll uh, show you some top tips uh, along the way with what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get on the road and let's get up there. Let's go there now. And just like that, we're now up in, well, I'd say sunny Warrington. It's not sunny, it's misty, it's cloudy, a very autumnal morning at the time of year. So this is his pond anyway, so let's have a quick look at his pond. Um, so yeah, there we go, he's got some koi carp in there as well as some goldfish. Pretty much same as mine, just on a smaller scale. So the problem he's got is water's coming out of here too quick and the filter which we'll go look at inside his shed in a second needs slowing down. So I've got ball valve to put in there, but while we're speaking of these, if you have got these on your pond on your outlet pipes for cleaning, just a little top tip for you is leave them open like that during the winter months, because if you've got them closed, like that, what you've got inside, inside that ball valve, is your washers in there. If that's holding any water, it will actually break your seals on it so it won't work properly. So always leave them open if you're not gonna be using them, like that. And then any water that's in there can come out when it's frosty and it don't break them. So let's go in his shed and we'll have a look at his filter and then we'll uh, get on with fixing this. So let's go in there right now. My dad's just turned it off to the water now. It is beginning to slow down, but this here is what we're fitting today. So I need to cut these down to your correct size. So we'll put some pipe glue on here and in here. Uh, we'll be cutting it off on this one there because of the size of his pump. So we're going to do that. And while the glue's setting on that, we'll have a probably a cheeky cup of coffee. And then we will uh, stick the Jubilee clips on the pump itself. So, so my dad's just taken pump out now. There he is. He's oblivious to his on camera at the moment. He needs to put his hearing aids in. See? So, right, while he's messing around with that, I'm going to get these stuck in. So you'll join me in a minute. Let's go for that now. So this is his filter that he's got. So it comes in into here through his 30 watt UV uh, into here round into here comes out here but what he's got in here is can you see how the water is very close to the very top edge as it's then feeding through it's going straight over straight through so it's not actually going fully through the filter system it's working but it can work better so what i'm going to do is in this part here i think i'm going to put is that ball valve which is just going to slow the water down coming in I'm either going to do it here or here it'd be one one or the other so I'm going to get on with that I need to glue it get it set so while I'm going to do that I'm going to send the old man off to make a coffee you'll see him in a minute let's go for it now so we've both decided that we're going to put it on this side of the UV so I'm going to cut the pipe somewhere here then I can stick that straight on that on the other side I am only going to do one cut I'm not going to take the pipe out there just make it a little bit longer it's in a shed so it don't make no difference so let's get cutting through that and you'll see me on that bit in a second here we go so I've cut the pipe now and we're ready to go uh, on here you could put a bit of pipe glue just to hold it on there a little bit better it is a tight fit but I'm going to put some jubilee clips on both sides and sit that one in there We'll tighten that up onto there. And that one is now onto there, which is returning it back into the filter underneath. I can stick that back on there now. Uh, I'm going to tighten them up, and then it's going to be a game of turning the pump back on, and then we'll adjust this valve, and we'll see exactly what flow rate we want so it's not filling up too quick. So I'm going to tighten them up, 
and then we'll get the pump turned back on and you'll see me doing that right now. Well, we've finally done it. We did have a leak on this joint here, so I've ended up taking that off, pipe gluing it. That's ball valve all nicely fitted now. Flow of water, it's not flowing too fast. We've got a nice swirl going on here as it's now filtering its way through. We'll go outside and you'll see it coming out of this pond. There. So yeah, it's all flowing quite well now. So that's it done for now. So, nice play on that. So again, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. So until next time folks, I'll see you later. Goodbye.